Sezgin Baran Korkmaz is a well-known Turkish businessman with a significant presence in the business world. He has been involved in several high-profile legal cases that have garnered extensive media attention. Suleyman Soylu is a powerful and influential figure in Turkish politics. He served as the Minister of Internal Affairs until recently, playing a crucial role in the government. Korkmaz has made serious and potentially damaging allegations against Soylu. These accusations have sent shockwaves through Turkey, causing widespread public reaction. Korkmaz claims that Soylu used his influential position to interfere in a private business matter. He alleges that Soylu pressured him to forgive a significant debt, creating a major controversy. This debt was owed by another prominent businessman, Inan Karaj, adding another layer to the scandal. Korkmaz's accusations raise serious concerns about corruption and abuse of power within the political and business spheres. These allegations come at a time of heightened political tension and unrest in Turkey. The country is preparing for crucial elections that will shape its political landscape. The outcome of these elections will have a significant and lasting impact on Turkey's future. Korkmaz's claims could potentially damage Soylu's reputation and political career. They could also undermine public trust in the Turkish government leading to further instability. Korkmaz made his accusations during an interview, which quickly gained widespread attention. The interview was with a well-known Turkish journalist, Fatih Altaylı, who is known for his hard-hitting questions and in-depth reporting. It was broadcast on Altaylı's popular YouTube channel, which has millions of subscribers and a significant influence on public opinion. Korkmaz stated that Soylu contacted him personally, making the situation even more direct and intense. He said that Soylu asked him to drop a $60 million debt, a substantial amount that raised many eyebrows. This debt was owed by Inan Karaj, a name that carries significant weight in Turkish business circles. Kuraç is a prominent Turkish businessman, known for his extensive influence and numerous business ventures. Korkmaz claims that Soylu framed the request as a state issue, implying it was a matter of national importance. This implied that there could be negative consequences for Korkmaz if he refused, adding a layer of coercion. Korkmaz felt pressured to comply feeling that he had little choice in the matter. He says he feared repercussions from the government, which could have been severe and far-reaching. He eventually agreed to forgive the debt, despite his reservations and the significant financial loss. Korkmaz's allegations are very specific, leaving little room for ambiguity or misinterpretation. He provides details about his interactions with Soylu, painting a clear picture of the events. He describes the pressure he felt, emphasizing the emotional and psychological toll it took on him. He also names other individuals who were allegedly involved, adding more layers to the story. These details lend credibility to his claims, making them harder to dismiss outright. They make his accusations more difficult to dismiss, forcing people to take them seriously and consider the implications. It's important to understand the context surrounding Korkmaz's accusations, as they have far-reaching implications. Korkmaz is not a neutral observer in this situation. He has his own legal troubles that complicate his position. He is currently fighting extradition to the United States, which adds another layer to his narrative. He faces serious charges of money laundering and fraud in the US, which could lead to significant prison time. Some critics argue that Korkmaz is making these accusations to save himself from these charges. 
they suggest he is trying to curry favor with the Turkish government to gain some leverage. He may be hoping to avoid extradition and the severe penalties that come with it. However, Korkmaz's supporters point out that he began making these allegations months ago, well before his legal troubles in the US became widely publicized. He made them before his legal troubles in the US became widely publicized, suggesting a different motivation. Regardless of Korkmaz's motivations, his accusations are serious and cannot be dismissed lightly. They deserve to be thoroughly investigated to uncover the truth. The Turkish government cannot afford to ignore them, as they have significant implications. The public has a right to know the truth, and transparency is crucial in this matter. Suleyman Soylu has not directly responded to Korkmaz's accusations. He has remained silent on the matter. This silence is deafening. It raises more questions than it answers. Soylu is known for his outspoken nature. He is quick to defend himself against criticism. His silence in this case is unusual. It suggests that he may be concerned about the potential fallout from Korkmaz's allegations. Soylu's silence is not helping his case. It is fueling speculation. It is also eroding public trust. The Turkish people deserve to hear from their leaders. They need to know that their government is not above the law. Section 5. Potential motives. If Korkmaz's accusations are true, it begs the question, why would Soylu intervene in a private business dispute? What would motivate him to pressure Korkmaz to forgive a debt? One possibility is that Soylu was acting on behalf of Enan Karaj. Karaj is a powerful figure in Turkey. He has close ties to the government. It's possible that Soylu was doing him a favor. Another possibility is that Soylu himself stood to benefit from Korkmaz forgiving the debt. Perhaps he was promised a bribe or a kickback. Corruption is a serious problem in Turkey. It's not inconceivable that Soylu was involved in some sort of illicit scheme. Section 6. Abuse of power. Korkmaz's accusations, if true, point to a disturbing abuse of power. Soylu, as Minister of Internal Affairs, was one of the most powerful men in Turkey. He had a duty to uphold the law and protect the rights of all citizens. Instead, Korkmaz alleges that Soylu used his position to intimidate and pressure him. He says that Soylu threatened him with unspecified consequences if he didn't comply with his demands. This is a clear violation of Soylu's authority. Soylu's alleged actions are a betrayal of public trust. They undermine the rule of law. They also set a dangerous precedent. If a powerful government official like Soylu can get away with abusing his power, it sends a message that no one is safe. Section 7. Political Interference Korkmaz's accusations also highlight the dangers of political interference in private business matters. When government officials use their power to influence business dealings, it creates an uneven playing field. It allows those with political connections to gain an unfair advantage. This can stifle competition, discourage investment, and ultimately harm the economy. Turkey needs a clear separation between politics and business. The government should create a level playing field for all businesses. It should also enforce laws against corruption and abuse of power. Section 8. Implications for Turkish Democracy The accusations against Suleyman Soylu have serious implications for Turkish democracy. They come at a time when Turkey is facing growing authoritarianism and a crackdown on dissent. 
These allegations, if true, further erode trust in the government and raise concerns about the rule of law in Turkey. They highlight the need for greater transparency and accountability from those in power. The Turkish people deserve a government that is accountable to them. They deserve a justice system that is fair and impartial. They also deserve a free and independent media that can hold the powerful accountable. Section 9. Conclusion Sezgin Baran Korkmaz's accusations against Suleyman Soylu are deeply troubling. They paint a picture of corruption, abuse of power and political interference in Turkey. Whether or not these accusations are proven in a court of law, they have already damaged the reputation of the Turkish government. The Turkish people